Hello everyone, my name is Dylan Williamson and I am 27 years old and I would like to tell you how to become a better person. So first off, I started this journey of becoming a better person really when I was 19. Um, I had a few milestones to get, get over and across, um, but really the journey started when I was like 19, it kind of hit a pause, then it went back on full force at 25. And um, then recently, back in June, there was another milestone, and now it's it's full force. Um, so how to become a better person? Uh, people say to invest in yourself. When I first heard about the term invest in yourself, I didn't know what they meant. Um, I thought maybe I needed to get like a butt lift or a facelift or get braces or something. But it really means um, to read and to get financially secure. So um, what, what do you read? Well, self-development self books on the physical, emotional, spiritual, mental, and financial yeah, um, topics. Those those five topics. That's what you um, read and invest on to become a better person. Um, the more you read, the more you know. The more you know, the more you can use. Um, so, quit playing video games. Quit binge watching Netflix. Um, start reading. There's 24 hours in a day. Let's say you work eight hours a day. What are you going to do with the other 16? Um, okay, so you get eight hours of sleep. Okay, so you got 16 hours there. Okay, what do you do with the other remainder? What do you do? Okay, so you have time to eat. You have time to drive to and from work. You have time to hang out at home, hang out with your friends, hang out with kids, hang out with your girlfriend, wife, boyfriend, husband. You have time. Um, it's just not a priority to you. Maybe you don't have a belief that you can be who you want to be in life. Maybe you've lost hope and you just need to think within and really be like, man, I can be that person. Those stories that were told of me as I was growing up, the stories that I made myself believe, and how I stopped caring and going with the, what I wanted to be in life, you can you can break that glass ceiling. You it'll take it'll take. A lot of determination it'll take a lot of self-reflection looking in the mirror and saying hey no more I'm done I'm done being this person that I'm not happy I stay up too late I hate I hate my life right now I don't want to wake, wake up and work in the morning you don't have to be that guy you don't have to be the guy who shows up late to work you don't have to be that guy or girl that goes to the gym, doesn't know what they're doing at the gym. You don't have to be that person without a purpose. And when I say purpose, I don't mean like you're some hero in someone's life. I mean, yes, every day is a heroic day. Yes. Every day you look at the day as I'm going to make this part of my journey and part of my story. And there is going to be some things that I'm going to accomplish. And I am going to be at the hero of my day. I am the hero in my world. I am the hero of my life. But you're not always out slaying monsters. You're not out, you're not out fighting villains. Sometimes being a hero is just holding the door open for someone else. Being there for someone to listen. Um... So, so go to the gym, 
it's not it's not about the looks it's not the physical aspect it's the mental grounding so so that negativity of being not feeling like you're the person you want to be you go to the gym you take your pre you take your uh, 24 ounces of water with it you're on it you're on that focus everything that you planned the night before you're crushing it you're getting it done um, self-love and confidence are relatable loving yourself by keeping your promises that you've made to yourself so like if I say I'm gonna wake up at 340 in the morning and I wake up at 350 in the morning is that self-love if I'm lying to myself no it's not now there is grace and you need to give yourself grace for when you don't meet the standards that you're making for yourself but that does not make an excuse or reason to not try again you always have to sit down and reflect on what you can do better to get that 340 in the morning wake up um, so loving yourself by keeping your promises keeping your promises builds confidence confidence when reflecting in the mirror and saying hey I did this I'm proud of myself for this let's crush the day let's get my mindset for the gym is if I can work hard in the gym I will outwork all my coworkers. I will just I may not actually I'll work them but you have to have the mental hindsight of yeah I'm not working you I'm I'm giving it all my right now when you're when you're going to the bathroom I'm working when you're on your phone because something's going on I'm working when when your attention is is gone from the job I'm here I'm getting it done if you call in sick I'll be here it's okay I got it it's not about money um, I'm still gonna work hard regardless of the amount of money um, I'm, I'm getting paid to do the job that you pay me to do I don't like having a boss written down my neck if I'm there it's gonna get done um, so be, don't be entitled to the day be grateful be grateful by loving the day and showing others love so love is not, is not lies now there is a difference between being arrogant and a jerk and telling the truth than there is in being honest with someone so if you see someone that's slacking off like they say every day hey man I want to get on this diet every day man I want to I want to do this this and this but they're not doing it you just gotta be like hey man you tell me every day that this is happening but there's no change so what's going on um, so like what I'm saying is like don't let other people lie to you don't let other people think they can lie to you and also don't lie to yourself <clears throat> don't allow people to come into your life and lie to you um, but also you don't have to say hey man you're fat hey man you're lazy you can just say hey man um, I, I noticed that you're uh, slacking in this area of your life how come what's going on what can we do to uh, fix it find the solution to the problem don't just be a jerk say hey you're fat and then move on no find the solution help them figure it out um, <clears throat> set rules and aspirations for the person you want to be so like for me I want to be a leader and by a leader it means loyalty, duty, respect, honor, integrity 
uh, selfless service, personal courage, self-awareness, love, peace, joy, faithfulness. I, I just try each and every day to stick to those definitions and keep it going. Um, again, there's going to be times when you're tested. There's going to be times when you're going to come out of that character. There's going to be times when you are going to be angry. And those times is when you give yourself grace. Say, hey, I'm sorry that I acted this way. That's not my character. That's not who I want to be. And keep pushing to the next day. Um, I don't know. Um, so, also, um, become the person, become that person every day with small habits, achieving the 1%. So, just keep that every day. Just keep it. Keep it higher with yourself. Look in the, look in the mirror. Uh, focus on how to get that habit formed. I think it's like 15 days to break a habit, 30 days to form a habit. So make make it a habit, and if you can't make it a habit, find out why. That specific thing can't be made a habit. So like, okay, if I can't wake up at 3:40, why can't it? And what can I do? Can I wake up at four? Can I make four o'clock good? Okay, so let's make it a habit to wake up at 4. And then, like, in a month, wake up at 3.40. That's how you do it. Small changes. Small changes to wake up early. You just gotta, you just gotta look in the mirror and be like, Hey, do I want to live this life or that life? Both, of, both lives are going to be hard. You just gotta keep doing it. You just gotta make a choice. Live hard.